Blake writes, Collider Movie Crew, love the show and love movies. I've been re-watching movies from when I was younger, and boy, some of them are terrible, but I still love them. For example, when I watch Star Wars The Phantom Menace, I have such a strong sense of nostalgia from my childhood that even though I know it's not a good movie, I can't help but love watching it. I was curious if you have had this same experience with certain movies where you love them for the nostalgia from when you were a kid, but you know that they're just terrible. If so, what movies are they? Uh, most of them are like from the 80s. The uh, Secret of My Success. <laughs> Mannequin. Uh, the one I'm going to bring up now just because The Martian is coming out. Um, did you guys ever watch that movie Space Camp? Oh my god. Mm. I loved <laughs> Space Camp. So, space Camp is about a group of kids that are like Space Camp and like as part of their experience they they get to like go on to like a real space shuttle and because one of the younger kids befriends some little like robot thing it's it, Joaquin Phoenix uh yeah I think so and like and yeah they, like, no it was at the time he was named Leaf yeah and and, <laughs> and <laughs> because he befriends the robot the robot like tells uh like uh the the computers to launch the the, the shuttle into space while they're on it so that they could experience space and then they have to go dock at a space shuttle uh, or a space station and they have to find a way home just like the Martian <laughs> I'm sure if I watched it and if I looked at it uh, objectively I'd be like man this is terrible but I like it what about you Roth? Uh, oh my god it's so funny because I was going to say my brother and I when we were young um, would watch a lot of movies that were even like before our time a little bit, you mm. know? And so there were things that I loved as a kid that I still love today and I know were terrible, like Flash Gordon. I don't care. I love it. I think I brought up that up even the last time I was here. But you brought up Space Camp and I it, I loved Space Camp and it was Joaquin Phoenix. He yeah. was the little kid and it was Leah Thompson. Leah was Thompson. In that. Yeah. Um, Tom Skerritt. Yeah, it's there. I think there's probably a lot of those movies, but then there, there are ones that that I loved a lot, like um, Escape from New York and things like mm. that, that I still think are really awesome movies, you know? So I, there's just a mixed bag. Yeah. David? Uh, I have a, a few. Um, one of them, remember Flight of the Navigator? Yeah. Uh-huh. This kid, you know, he finds a spacecraft. This is guy, and he's like, I am the Navigator. You know, it was like compliance, and they go all around and travel and everything. That was a fun adventure. I like that one. But also, and maybe this was critically, this was well-received, was... Uh, the Never Ending Story. Oh, yeah. Because that's not a bad movie. It's not bad, but like I watched it. I don't know if the performances are great. Like I've re watching it, but it's still, I really enjoyed it. I just yeah. love the visuals and the stories. It's just that great fantasy, but I don't feel like anybody really talks about it anymore. I think it was well received, but I just I don't I just don't feel anybody talks about it. But I just bought the uh, Blu-ray came out last year for the 30th anniversary. It came mm-hmm. out the day I was born in '84, and I, I I just love that's one of my favorite movies as a kid. Yeah, um, I love it. Still love it. Sinead, any movies that you know that aren't very good, but you love them for nostalgia's sake? Um, well, yeah, I have like a whole bunch, but I always think about this one movie. I've probably seen it like 50,000 times, but it's Sugar and Spice. Oh, I remember the that. The cheerleaders who break into the James, grocery store. Was it James, James Mar- Marsden, Marsden is in it? it? Yeah. yeah, and um, there's this part of the movie where he proposes to his pregnant girlfriend, and he's like, he hands her the ring, and he goes, next year... I'm going to put a diamond in it and it's just a band and it's got like the prongs and it's empty and it just uh, the whole and the movie tears came out of your eyes <laughs> oh yeah, my it's god so sweet. and the whole movie is so ridiculous and so terrible but it's just one of those movies that like I was came out in 2001 it's 14 years ago I was like what nine eight nine years old when it came out and I watched it probably like 50 times that year, even though I shouldn't have being nine years old, but I did. And I've seen it like hundreds of times. I just watched it last week. And there's like, I don't even think that you know that they're so bad. I feel like you think that they're better than they are just because they make you like, you know, like relive that again. moment. Okay, yeah. um, but it's funny because I actually was thinking of the never ending, a never ending story right at first. Um, I love that movie. And it's I watched it. Yeah, I watched it and I was like, ooh, this is not that great. <laughs> but I will still watch it and like tell my little brother to watch you. it. Yeah, it's like over the top, <laughs> but I was like, it's still good though. Yeah. Like the, the, the rock biter guy. I mean, it's still good. <laughs> the, what was it the, uh, the nothing? Just like this cloud. Didn't like, the horse like die from sadness? No, well, in, no, in it, it was in the um, this uh, swamp pit. with yeah. the with the big turtle. God, I haven't seen this. And in there so was a wolf long. who was like yeah. a messenger, and there yeah. was like the nothing. It was just like this big storm cloud. Like it's the nothing. I'm like, and at the, the end, I was like, how can you not just say a name? You know? <laughs> I know. You had to like, like open the window yeah. and like I believe. You know, it was, yeah, it was all yeah. dramatic. All right. 